What's up, MMA fans? Today we are catching up with Paulo Costa, straight from Abu Dhabi. How are you, my friend? I'm good, brother. It's, it's very good to stay here with you again. Yeah, my pleasure. And, and how is your your elbow, Borrachinha? Everybody in MMA world, just talk about that elbow. Show us, please. How is it? It's getting better, you know. I can I can elbow somebody already. <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's good. <laughs> Uh, yes, I'm, I, I, I will be back to train, uh, next week. So doctors just released me to come back to train. So I will be fine very, very soon. I hope. Inshallah. <laughs> Inshallah. Yeah. Tell Inshallah. us about, uh, how long are you, have you been in, in Abu Dhabi and, 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 and tell us everything you passed through. You stay in Hanzo's apartment. He was here with me and, and. And you got some guys from from Kazakhstan. And tell us how was the whole period training in Abu Dhabi? That experience. Of course, I have been here in Abu Dhabi for a long time, like uh, 65 days uh, since I came from Brazil to to train here to do my whole fight camp here to this fight uh, UFC 294. But fortunately, I got this infection, these problems in my arm, and uh, you know so. This fight probably gonna be postponed for the f near future. I hope. Uh, yes, I have been in Gra uh, his Grace apartment. He's a big. Fr he he become a big friend of me of me and us, of my uh, our team. And uh, yeah, I need to say a huge thanks for Hans for opening the doors of his house for us. And uh, he treats us like a family here in Abu Dhabi. And uh, yeah, I love this place. You know. I, I'm trying to enjoy the sea, you know, ride some camels in the desert and, you know, and uh, do some funny stuff. But I still train and uh, now I'm looking for come back to to my home and start training for the next fight. I hope so. Still fighting Chimaev. Let's see. Let's see what have uh, UFC have uh, in mind, what what are the, the in mind of uh, Dana White, what Dana White have uh, in mind to me, you know, and uh, I want to fight Chimaev again. You know, I think he deserve. He need to. He does deserve the the tire shot right now. He need to fight a, a real uh, middleweight Middle fight. Way. Yes, and uh, yeah, I I hope I hope make this fight. I think the fans uh, want to see that. Yeah, for sure. Well, Hashina, if you were a hundred percent, if you didn't, have, if you could recover in time for the fight, and you fight, let's say ninety percent uh, with your arm, not the best, but like ninety percent, do you think uh, would you have beaten uh, Shimaev before the third round? Yes. Look, if you look for for that fight that Shimaev did against Usman, he didn't. Uh, could beat Usman with 10 days short notes, you know. Uh, if I was me there for sure, I, you know, I cannot say 100% because this doesn't happen yet. But brother, he's a legit middleweight, have very heavy, you know, almost 100 kilos. You know, it's a lot of pressure, it's a different pressure, different, different situation, different, you know, um, strength. So I'm a strong guy. Everybody knows. Everybody knows I'm so explosive, and uh, I am better than him. I uh, stand up. You know my striking skills is better than him. So for sure, I have this on myself. You know, I got. I, I could not cut him out. If you if you fought him, you think uh, before the the third round, uh, you could have knocked him out. Ah yes, I think in the second round he he gonna. He gonna sleep, you know, because he, he has he has a very strong first round, but he has nothing more anymore in the second and third. So if I have a guy so tired like he was in the second round, he gonna sleep for sure. <laughs> I think. Uh, if if UFC decide to give Strickland for him. Uh, you have uh, in the top of the division. You have uh, Dricus Duplessis. You have Whitaker. You have a Cannonier. If you could choose, which one would you choose to face next? You know, all these names are good names for sure. I, I, 
I think uh, Whitaker, Duplessis, and uh, Canonier. The three names are very good names. Uh, I have scheduled to fight uh, Whitaker in the past, so maybe you know we can come back and, and do the fight really happen. Uh, but all the three names is is, is a good names, yeah, to fight against. Uh, I don't have a, a huge preference. My my huge preference is fight Chimaev. Chimaev. But, <laughs> yes, go match a chain as I I know <laughs> I know him. But yeah, I think Chimaev go match a chain is my first option, and then these three guys. And what about you, Zada? Did they give you the 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 t-shirt? For 150 tests. <laughs> no, they, they, they didn't give me the jacket. The jacket. And if they give me the jacket, you please on that, bro, for sure. Because <laughs> this guy is bothering me a lot. They came here three, three, three times in one week. So you must have liked it, the news uh, that Dana White gave that Yuzada will not be with the UFC in January. I would be happy just if the new uh, organization don't bother me like Yuzada used to do. If they don't, if they stop, it will be, you know, cheering, a little be you know, not chasing me like you Zada did. I will be, I will be happy. Like, uh, what's the worst experience you had with Zada, Wahashina? Like five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> they came, they came, they came three days, th three days straight, you know, in a row, uh, four fifty-nine, like some something like that, four fifty-nine. I was in California. And you know, California is not like Brazil, but I just uh, wake up with somebody knock the door so strong. Ta, ta, ta. I, I thought, bro, the guy is gonna rob me uh, here in my home. Uh, what, what? I, I almost called the police, the police. But then I realized it was Uzada. And they came three days, day after day, for three days at the same time, like four to 5 a.m. And that day that I was in the way, uh, the day of weigh-ins, I was so dehydrated, cut weight, and the woman want that I, I piss and, and take my blood out. It's crazy. My God, that's crazy. And, and Buhashia, when do you think to finish? When do you think you, you're going to return to the octagon? I'd like to fight in December, but everybody from FC has told me the 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 all, the all cards in December is completely full fully, so I think January would be. I I hope January. I hope January. I hope you can find a good opponent to fight in January. Washington, well, thank you very much for your time and for the great interview. My pleasure. Thank you, thank you, my brother. Thank you.